Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Hokies have not only put together a nice winning streak, they're starting to play at a much higher level, and they've energized their entire campus. Now the question is, will they be able to handle everybody on campus, patting them on the back, telling them how good they are, and telling them how they expect a big win in this one? Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk. We'll see you at the half. Stadium. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you the game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. East Carolina is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Wesley from the six. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. About the 28-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Set. Blue 19. They go to the left for a nice game. So the halfback picks up the first down there with a seven-yard gain. Draw plays work best when the offense has had success throwing the football. The defense isn't expecting run, and when that delayed handoff happens, they're nowhere near the action. Gives it left side. And he's tackled with a 38-yard line. From their own 38 yard line. It's second down. Fires out to his wideout. At about the 47 yard line. Really, there's not much more the defense could do here. They had outstanding coverage. It was just good execution from the quarterback making the right throw and the receiver going up and making a catch. Gets it. He's in space. He's brought down in the open field. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. First and ten. Ball on the 35. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Throw in left. Can't hang on. Incomplete. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. Down he goes, around the 25-yard line. Just a simple draw play there, but they picked up some big yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Down! Blue 14! Counter play. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. It's the ninth play of the drive.
Setting up the play action. With Pat, man open, and he dropped it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Tackle at about the three-yard line. This is why it's so important to have success in running the football. It forces a defense to prepare for it, and then that creates chances on play action. They executed that one perfectly. It's first down. They've got the defense on their heels now. It's first and goal. Tackled for a loss. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. They put everyone up on the line. Get him in the backfield. The thing about the options is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Virginia Tech kicked this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Tackle made the 25-yard line. Well, the crowd has been waiting for him all day. Green's big playability about to be on display in front of the home crowd here. He's set to take his first snap as he brings the offense out, Kurt. And, Brad, this kid's reputation precedes him. The entire offense is designed around him. As his performance goes, so will his team. So let's see what he can do in front of this big crowd. Just a complete leader. He gets sacked on the play. The Pirates always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Roger, Roger. Let's go, let's go. Here we got Mike, number 53. Mike, go. 53. Quick strike to the back, and he drops it. they can make a few adjustments before their next series. That makes it Dubzinski to punt. Wesley takes it at the 49. He makes it to the 38-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Virginia Tech has a three-point lead. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. From the 38-yard line, second down. He's at the 30, brought down at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. He 
He's taken down around the 21 yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter or blame the offenses for a lack of production. Virginia Tech's got a three point lead. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Taken down at the 18 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. From the 18 yard line. First down. And they make the stop at the 17 yard line. About a yard. Quarterback keeper. Virginia Tech holds a field goal lead. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Oh, I bet the defender wishes he had that one back. Yeah, anytime you have a chance to end the drive, especially in your own end zone, you just got to make that play. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 17. It, but he can't shake the defense. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Williams. Team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he got all of this one great kick he's to the 20 he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line with one quarter down I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads might be neck and neck the whole way but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. From the 30-yard line, first down. Virginia Tech is up by six. On play action, defense coming, and he's going to come up with a sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. He's at the 20, and a quick throw. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. First down. From the 16-yard line, it's first down. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Glover gets another hand up. They'll drop him for a loss. He never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From the 12-yard line, third down. Hey. 
complete right from doing. That's a D and D on that ball. That makes it fourth and four. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Receiving team. Flipping is the call, and Still now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. It's complete. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is going to start to cheat up and that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big finds his man first down and he hits him hard at the 44 nice pickup as they connect on the pass play well, they look to be in sync right now they're both reading the defense and the result is a nice game First and ten, ball on the 44. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. and he can't make the grab. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force down in a punt. Dobzinski is the punter. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. Well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think part of the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Gets rid of it quickly. In and out of his hands. Second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball in the 29. And he is drilled at the 37. Virginia Tech's going to use their first time out of the half here. the 38 and they'll still be a little short of the first down line well they get some positive yards but this defensive line really busted through and broke that play up the punt upcoming and they're going to come after this one he drops it room around the corner 
And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. He just couldn't pull that one in clean. And, Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. We're about set to start things up again. We played a half of football. Virginia Tech in front, 9 0. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Let's not get too carried away by the numbers, but both of these teams averaging less than six yards per pass. It's, it's an indication, it seems, that maybe there's not the personnel out there that really scares this defense that can really stretch the defense. Yeah, we talk about it all the time, having those big-time speed guys and those playmakers on the outsides that, that really make the cornerbacks bail and take away the deep ball. And, they're not scared right now. They're just squatting on the outside and saying, you're not going to run by me. You're not going to throw it deep. And all I'm going to do is try to make sure that you catch the underneath stuff and wrap you up and tap you. So somebody has to emerge as a playmaker, and you have to find the playmakers down the field to make some big home run plays. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hokies continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback is gun. Out of bounds at the 28th. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Goes quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 37 yard line. It's second down. Well, I think he came down with it, but from up in the booth, it's hard to tell. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is the first. Well, they get it right after the review. They call it a catch, and play will continue.
gets out to about the 21. He fights forward to about the 19. That's a good game at two yards. That brings up second and nine. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 19 yard line. Throws complete, big loss. Drop back four yards on that one. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get go. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. Brought down around the 16-yard When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. And they'll get him in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. From their own 13-yard line, second down. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Stepping up. And he's hit immediately. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 38. Quick throw. Terrific effort to pick up the first down. He got total extension and was able to keep his hands between the ball and the turf. from the 34-yard line. First down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's an opening. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense and their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Inside the 10. Touchdown, VTech. They'll go for.
for two in this situation. Five wide. And they won't get the two. The two points conversion fails. Williams has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. Slings it. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. He's in space. And he's taken down at about the 49. the 45. That's the end of three quarters of play, and this one's a little tighter than the experts thought. Virginia Tech's up by 15. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. That makes it 37. there I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here it was a pretty short conversion the defense just made a good play both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead 
This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on their own 28. inbounds to make a nice catch that was actually pretty good defense but a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome it first down 10 yards to go ball on the 37 yard line a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter makes it out to about the 46 that's a that brings up second the pirates taking their first time out of the half If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signals straight. defense has been a force to be reckoned with especially in this game well they have stepped up today they just seem to be dialed into what this offense is trying to do good job against the run they've been very physical what i love is how relentless they run to the football they're ready to begin another drive he gets rid of this one Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 24. And he's tackled around the 41 yard line. This isn't even the best example, but I'm going to tell you something. This young man is really getting better at running his routes, which is a truly underrated quality these days. Just under two to go in the game. Tackles him hard at the third. Loss of six yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. Spikes the ball. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. He sails it long. Can't connect. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Lines the junior. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter, and that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. They're set to go for another round. Glover gets a ball left side. He's at the 30. He's taken down at the 19. 
That's always a big blow to a defense to give up a long run like that. You'll see a lot of those guys hanging their head. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. The 10. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. That's a huge touchdown on the ground, Herbie. That might do it. 